The Entertainment Alliance started out in 2005 as the Entertainment Industry Initiative, which was a program funded by the CSU Chancellor's Office to connect its campuses to the entertainment industry. The idea was to nurture a pipeline of diverse talent from these campuses to Hollywood. The initiative is honoring its legacy by taking it to the next level, repositioning as the Entertainment Alliance, bringing the CSU and the entertainment industry together to spread the word about the world-class caliber of our entertainment programs and to strengthen the strategic partnerships between Hollywood, Silicon Valley, and the CSU. The Alliance gives grants to campuses to interact with industry professionals, to network with students and share their expertise. Our talented team helps students find and successfully apply for internships. We maintain a comprehensive database of internship opportunities for CSU students. We give free housing to students living in uh, Northern and Eastern California who get summer internships in LA. And we have an amazing advisory board and are actively pursuing partnerships with technology providers to continually improve our programs and curriculum. As Marty mentioned, the CSU plays a critical role in preparing future leaders with the skills and knowledge they need to thrive in the workforce and help drive California's economy. With 100,000 annual graduates, the CSU is the state's greatest producer of bachelor degrees and drives California's economy in agriculture, Info technology, business, hospitality, life sciences, healthcare, public administration, education, and of course, media and entertainment. The CSU is a critical supplier of job ready graduates in entertainment from Hollywood to Silicon Valley. 74% of California's communications bachelor degrees are awarded by the CSU and 86% of graduates in radio and television attended the CSU. CSU alumni play an important role in student success. Our alumni stay connected to their campuses by guest lecturing, connecting students with internships, providing job shadowing experience, or like many alumni who are with us here at Digital Hollywood, can I just get a show of hands who is a CSU alum or affiliated with the CSU in the room? <laughs> Thank you, and lucky you. The CSU is proud to work closely with three of the most outstanding organizations in the entertainment and media industries. Tonight, we honor Univision, the Television Academy Foundation, and the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. These three visionaries are working hard every day to ensure educational opportunities to students that need it the most. For many decades, they've been supporting scholarships and internships, training faculty, reaching out to underserved communities, and illuminating the path to a college degree. They're not exclusively supporting the CSU. They've helped hundreds of thousands of students in California and the entire nation launch their entertainment and news careers. Our first honoree tonight is a company who clearly uses its influence to prioritize educational opportunities and programs. Univision's educational outreach efforts are simply astounding. They are beyond dedicated to promoting accessible higher education, working closely with Hispanic communities to ensure a clear path to a college degree. They meet with middle and high school students and their parents at the annual Feria de Educación which inspires thousands of students to apply to college. The education and community outreach team at Univision works tirelessly to underscore the importance of education in the Hispanic community. From their comprehensive multi-year education initiatives to their education week, Univision is out there directly in the community, spreading the message that education on all levels is the path to a better future. They emphasize that a college degree is accessible and are a true friend of the CSU by pointing students in the direction of our campuses. 
During their events, students and their families discover inspiring stories of first-generation, college-bound Latino students. They hear from experts who share valuable insights on early childhood learning, they get expert advice on how to save for college, and they hear profiles of schools that are making a difference by raising those educational attainment levels. They hold video contests to raise awareness among Latino youth about the vital need to access information on college readiness to ensure a better future for themselves and their families. Their internship program grooms future leaders in entertainment. Not only do they train CSU students, they actually hire many of them. And most importantly, they're in inspiring and empowering the Latino community to continue succeeding. It's my honor to present Univision with the California Award for Commitment to Diversity in Higher Education. Please welcome Luis Patino, Senior Vice President and General Manager of Univision Local Media, Los Angeles. Thank you, Dina. Hello, everybody. Good evening. How are you? We'll make this brief so everybody can get on with uh, your dinner. But uh, on behalf of uh, Univision, uh, Univision Communications, I'd like to thank the California State University Entertainment Industry Initiative and uh, the CSU's office. Thank you very much for all of your help and support throughout these past years. Um, we'd also like to... Uh, Thank the Education Summit and our dinner co-sponsor, Digital Hollywood, for creating this opportunity. Thank you so much. We're happy to be participating. Um, really, what I wanted to say is, uh, as a CSU um, alum myself from Cal State LA, any Cal State LA people out there? Um, it makes me really proud to see these types of initiatives going on. Um, especially for those of us that work at Univision, I have a, a table full of colleagues of which we, we just noticed that half of us are also CSU alums. Um, so congratulations to them. Thank you for joining me. Whenever I have the opportunity to have the microphone in an event like this, I, I always like to remind people that a company like Univision, um, it starts with vision, right? And our vision started 60 years ago. Uh, in a small town of San Antonio, Texas. A lot of people don't realize this. You see Univision in the trades now and, and you probably visualize uh, Mr. Trump telling Jorge Ramos to sit down and to be quiet, um, which is never going to happen. But um, if you really think about it, Univision started um, as a, an opportunity to give a voice to a community in San Antonio, Texas when that community had no voice, right? In the 1950s in, in South Texas, you could not even speak Spanish. If you spoke Spanish, they would hit you in school or they would charge you 50 cents, and that's what lunch cost. In the 1950s, when Univision started, there was movie theaters for blacks and there was movie theaters for Mexicans. And Mexicans were riding the back of the bus with blacks. And it was during this time and, and this, what was happening socially, that Univision was started to give the Latino community a voice. And as time has progressed and innovation has happened and the media has changed, the one thing that remains constant for a company like Univision that is 100% mission driven, yes to entertain, but absolutely to inform and absolutely to empower. The one thing that has never changed is that we continue to give the Latino community a voice like nobody else. And it's, it's really through that commitment and that, and, and that commitment to our steadfast mission that not only are we able to do good, but we're able to prosper in a very, very difficult environment where here in Los Angeles we have, which I think is still surprising to many people, the number one television station in the country. The most watched television station in the country 
is right here in our backyard, and it's all because of us continuing to serve that mission. So I thank you very much for this honor. For us, it is a huge honor to be able to continue to empower young Latinos, and especially those that continue in the CSU system. Thank you. Our next honoree tonight is the Television Academy Foundation. The charitable arm of the Television Academy. A true model of how a distinguished Hollywood professional organization has taken on education programs and perfected the formula. Their internship program is simply the best in the business. It is a highly competitive program that places students directly with meaningful mentorships at the top TV departments in Los Angeles. Alumni of the Television Academy internship have gone on to incredible careers in the industry. The Academy Foundation leveraged their unparalleled connections with TV executives, talent and creators specifically to serve students. And it's not just students. Their faculty training program invites professors from all over the country to spend a week in LA learning all about the latest industry trends, meeting TV executives and talent, and learning directly from the industry with the specific intention of enhancing their teaching. Faculty come back from the TV Academy Fellowship invigorated and updated with first-hand knowledge of what's happening in Hollywood and how they can best teach their students valuable, fresh information that will set their students up for successful entertainment careers. The, te the Television Academy also works very hard to recognize student creative work. Their annual college student awards is a fantastic way for students to gain valuable industry recognition for their productions. They're doing amazing work and are specifically dedicated to help promote diversity in the industry. The Television Academy is ce celebrating its 70th anniversary this year and we know there will be even more exciting opportunities to come. We at the CSU are proud to be working with the TV Academy Foundation and salute them for all the incredible work that they're doing to help improve entertainment education. Please help me welcome Ms. Norma Provincio Picardo, Executive Director of the Television Academy Foundation. Thank you so much for this honor, Dina. If we could just have your attention, I think that um, Dina and the Cal State office have worked really hard to put this reception on for you. And I think we owe it to them to at least uh, give them the honor of just paying attention. Thank you. We would like to um, thank Chancellor Timothy White from the California State University System, Dina Ibrahim, Director of the Chancellor's Entertainment Industry Initiative, and Associate Professor of Broadcast and Electronic Communication at San Francisco State University, and also Digital Hollywood for this wonderful recognition. Um, I'd also like to thank our foundation staff who are here, um, as well as some board members, and I know that there are some Board of Governors from the Television Academy that are here. We'd like to thank you all for participating in today's dinner. Yeah. At the foundation, we celebrate and promote creativity, diversity, innovation, and excellence through education and leadership. And as we increase our programs and offerings, we will also continue to expand our reach 
in order to find talented emerging storytellers who reflect the demographics realities of today and who will become the next generation of storytellers. As storytellers both on and off the screen, we strive to connect with our audiences and to inspire. In turn, as our audiences become increasingly diverse, it falls upon all of us as creators, as educators, as storytellers, to share our stories in ways that they identify with. Television is many things in today's world, but it still and always will be about storytelling. The Television Academy Foundation embraces this philosophy through its commitment to granting young men and women from all backgrounds access to the entertainment industry by way of our internships, scholarship and mentoring programs, our college Emmys, as well as educational seminars so that they have an opportunity to create a platform by which to share their own stories. The alliance with the California State University system has helped us have a greater impact in recognizing talented students. We value this partnership and we use this model for other partnerships throughout the country. Thank you again for this wonderful acknowledgement of our work with young people and congratulations to the Hollywood Foreign Press and Univision. Thank you. Thank you, Dina. And last, I know you want to get to your dinner, but most certainly not least, we honor the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Who this year gave a generous $2 million gift to California State University at Northridge. The gift will support students and enhance technology in the school's acclaimed Department of Cinema and Television Arts. A portion of that grant will go toward creating endowed scholarships to support underrepresented film and television students in the industry. Scholarship recipients will be mentored by department faculty and industry professionals. The Hollywood Foreign Press Association's charitable trust provides financial support for educational and cultural nonprofit organizations whose primary focus is the entertainment industry. In the past 27 years, the HFPA Trust has bestowed more than $21.6 million in fellowships and grants to film schools and nonprofits. The funding continues to nurture the development of young artists in film and television through support for scholarships and fellowships to undergraduate and graduate film schools. They also support pre-professional education and training programs for talented young artists from diverse backgrounds, primarily here in the LA region. And high caliber professional training and mentoring that successfully advance the project skills and industry relationships of outstanding new filmmakers worldwide. To present the award, please welcome Professor John Stahl, Chair of the CSUN Department of Cinema and Television Arts, and Professor Nate Thomas, the head of the Cinema Television Arts Film Production Program. Thank you, Dina. Um, I'm John, this is Nate. Of course. We'll be performing here all week. Um, <laughs> it, I would be here literally all week. Uh, that's the amount of time it would take for me to fully express the depth of our gratitude to the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. But I, I will be brief. Uh, I, I, I simply, I want to start off by pointing out that you know, you've heard about the demographics of, of the Cal State University system. At CSUN, throughout all of the, uh, the CSU, uh, under, students from underrepresented populations are the majority of our campuses. And these are people who, without the support that we in education give them, and without the support that our benefactors enable us, uh, give to us so that we can better serve our students, these students would never have a chance to enter our wonderful industry. Um, but 
we have wonderful benefactors. We have the Hollywood Farm Press Association. And with their in incredibly generous gift, we will be able to, for years to come, hopefully for time immemorial, uh, support students as Hollywood Farm Press scholars, students who show outstanding promise, sh students who are from underrepresented populations um, with something close to full scholarships and mentorship throughout their academic careers to help them as they ultimately make that bridge from academia to the industry. Uh, so this gift will allow us to do that, to help them. And, and the other part of the gift, as Dina said, will allow us to continually update our facility, our equipment, so that our students are working on industry standard um, equipment, which is obviously so vital. You want that when we hand them off to you. Uh, so. Uh, without further ado, I, I just, from the bottom of our hearts, we are ever so grateful. And to represent the uh, Hollywood Farm Press Association, I'd like to call up so that we can present this award, uh, Sylvia Bizio, uh, a member of the Hollywood Farm Press Association and a member of the, um, uh, the donation committee. Here's the award! Oh, wow, we have an award? We have an award. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, well, it's not, ex not like the Golden Globe, but means just as much as the Golden Globes to us, because you probably don't really know much about us, the Hollywood Foreign Press, I mean, you, but you do know us as the Golden Globes people, the kind of this mysterious group. Uh, we are all journalists. Uh, um, I'm a full-time journalist, and in the last uh, 35 years since I've been a member, and certainly since we started with these kind of donations, uh, this has been... Uh, the big joy of our lives. I'm a member of the Grand Committee and uh, it just fills me with happiness to know that the money that yes, we do make from the Golden Globes and it is true, but believe us, a big portion of it goes to uh, support uh, these kind of programs. Uh, we support uh, four, uh, university, four Cal State universities um, with uh, only the uh, annual grants of $200,000, uh, and they go to Cal State Los Angeles, Cal State Northridge, Cal State Fullerton, Cal State Long Beach. Yes, indeed, uh, the <laughs> North... <laughs> and, and over in, in the last 20 years, over a thousand students uh, received uh, $6 million in scholarships from us. So as you can see, this is uh, an ongoing program for us. Uh, uh, yes, Cal State Northridge this year did get a big bunch of it. <laughs> More <laughs> than usual, this was uh, quite unusual and quite a first for us, uh, but we felt we had really great partners in them. We visited their digital facilities, their television and their film uh, uh, departments. We're very happy to contribute to improvement, uh, uh, those, uh, to the improvement of those facilities and to scholarships uh, for the students. We believe in diversity. Uh, we are from all over the world. I'm Italian. My colleagues are from literally all over the world. And that makes us, uh, I guess, the perfect partners in this sense. So thank you. Thank you. And thank you for this award. I love it. Now, <laughs> I'll bring go. it to the office. I won't keep it. Now, <laughs> but wait, there's more. Because we just are so grateful. And we really can't, can't ever <laughs> begin to thank you guys enough. We have this plaque for you also. Oh, wow, uh, look at that. So the Hollywood Reporter, our, one of our Bibles. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, another one over here? Yeah. Right here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We're getting kicked off here, yeah. I'm almost done. Thank you for joining us and celebrating these outstanding organizations. And I invite you to connect with the CSUEA. You can uh, certainly find us on Facebook and Twitter. And you can absolutely uh, 
stay in touch with us. Um, you know, we would love uh, for everyone to do their part to contribute to enhancing the entertainment education experience. Your support doesn't need to be financial, although funding is always welcome. CSU students and faculty are more delighted to accept your time, your talent, your expertise, and your dedication. So please accept our invitation to visit a CSU campus. You can meet our talented, hungry, motivated, and diverse students for yourself, and check out the incredible production work that they do. I'm looking forward to these next few days of fabulous panels and the best folks in the business. So please enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you. Back to you, Marty. Thank you, Dina. Thank you all for your attention. You know, they say it takes a village, or the person who's most likely to be president says, we are the village. This, we are the voice and the mirror of the global village. And through your input of your human capital, by taking these students in for internships and offering them guidance, as well as giving them jobs, you are endowing the next generation of the great village. Thank you so much for your time.